In this video, we demonstrate interaction techniques for wall size displays. Interaction with a large interactive service with touch input is emulated by motion tracking a wireless mouse. The size of the screen is approximately 5 by 2 meters and its resolution 6,000 by 2,000 pixels. Since this resolution is difficult to capture on video, we demonstrate our techniques at a lower resolution. A menu action invokes the vacuum. The vacuum tool is an arc of influence on the canvas that collects items and brings them close to the tool. The user can change the angle of the arc by clicking and dragging on the tool's arc representation, and change the orientation of the arc by clicking and dragging on the white handle. The arc of the widget follows the movement of the tool. The vacuum tool can make semantic selections. For example, here we collect only UI elements. We provide two versions of the vacuum tool. In the first version, items are copied and scaled such that the relative positions of the tool and the selected objects is preserved through their copies. In the second version, items are copied on top of the tool from left to right. In both versions, the position of the copied objects can be temporary or persistent. By simply dismissing the tool, the copied items return to their original positions. Objects selected before dismissing the tool remain at their copy positions as a group marked with a border. We can expand this group by touching and holding, or move it by touching and dragging. This group treatment is present in all overlapping windows. We also provide a tool tailored to existing layouts of full screen applications with remote UI elements. Our edge reaching widget divides the screen into sections. By selecting one section of the tool, UI elements at the corresponding section of the screen are brought close to the widget and scaled down. The user can move the edge reaching widget or edit the scale factor of the UI elements. Using a menu, we invoke a stack of canvas portals. A canvas portal provides an alternative view of portions of the virtual canvas. Switching between portals is achieved by either unstacking and selecting a new portal, or by clicking on a portal's frame, which is brought to the front. We can modify the canvas portal scale factor, its position on the screen, and its focal point. The latter can be adjusted at a coarse granularity through the thumbnail of the screen, or at a fine granularity by direct positioning. Interaction within the portal is functionally equivalent to interaction on the entire canvas. Unlike typical magic lenses, canvas portals allow objects to be passed back and forth between the portals and the main canvas, providing for seamless integration of the two spaces. Finally, the center of focus of the portal can be transferred to the entire canvas, at which point the canvas portal disappears. Complementary to canvas portals, we introduce window portals. These provide an overview of the entire canvas, a close-up view of a selected window marked in red, and a sequence of the latest user selections. The canvas overview acts as a spatial locator of objects, and the timeline is a temporal locator. Items can be moved between the overview and the main canvas, and the tool can be repositioned. Division bands allow the user to cut the virtual canvas into different portions. The user first specifies a cut position and direction. She can then drag the band around, providing quick access to previously hidden or peripheral content. The band can be transient, which allows for quick glancing actions, or it can be retained, providing an alternative view of the canvas. Multiple bands of different orientations and directions can coexist. The content within each band can have different scale factors. This allows for items to be dragged into zoomed out bands to save space, or into zoomed in bands for high visibility. When interacting at close proximity to a wall size display, the lower part of the screen is typically outside the user's focus. This can be used for stacking items temporarily. This 3D stacking view we call the well. It provides context and free space when used together with the regular view of the screen. The user can either explicitly remove an object from the well, restore the original position of the object, or restore all welled objects. We have presented a set of interaction techniques for very large-scale high-resolution displays. We now show these techniques being used together.